guys, welcome to the Family Fudge and welcome to Bunches of Lunches 24 hour edition. In this video, I'm not just sharing fun lunch ideas, but I'm also sharing a fun breakfast and dinner as well. The family and I were recently invited by Happily Ever After Playhouses to stay in one of their luxury rental homes near Disney World. So if you love creative food, fun costumes, and amazing homes, this video is definitely for you and you guys make sure to watch until the end to find out how you can enter for a chance to win your own stay in 2022 okay guys come on in come and see Ooh. 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 Look at that. <laughs> come this way come this way <laughs> Lily you're gonna love the kitchen a pie Griffin, who's up there? It's BB-8. No, <laughs> it's R2-D2 up there. Look over here. Look at the pool area. Ooh, look at And look at Lily. What's over there? It's over there. <gasps> A princess carriage. Did yeah. you see it? Yeah. You want to go there later? Yeah. Okay, guys, are you excited to see the rest yeah. of the house? Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's go this way. Yeah. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh! Ooh, look at this, you guys! Does it have some open? Whoa! Nice! Okay. What kind of room is this? It's Star Wars! Ooh! The murals go all the way around. This is so cool. Even back here behind the door. So in here we have a huge bed and a bunk bed above. Okay, let's go to the next room. Okay guys, come on in. This is the Beauty and the Beast room. Look it. There's, hey, there's costumes in here. Jackson, are you gonna be the beast? <laughs> hey, you guys, look at the ceiling. It looks just like be our guest restaurant. Fancy, Fancy curtains. Guys, look over here in the corner. It's men. It's the clock and the lamp. Yeah. <laughs> the it's Lumiere and Cogsworth. Do you guys see this cool yeah. tapestry? Ooh. 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 There is Mrs. Potts up there. I haven't seen Chip though. <laughs> And right next to that, we have a Beauty and the Beast bathroom. So fancy. Wait, mommy, where's the bathroom? Oh, look at the chandelier. Big shower. Are you taking a shower right now? Yeah. No, we have more rooms to see. Let's go. I didn't even notice this raccoon. It's Rocket. Send in the girls. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't even know where to look. Is this gonna be your room? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Hi. Oh, hi, Kenzie. Uh, really? Look. Hey, guys. There's a slide. There's a slide. 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 What's in the closet? Princess dresses. <gasps> this room is awesome. Okay, you guys ready to see the next one? Yeah. Whoa, look at this one. This might be my favorite so far. Come on in. <laughs> what do you think, Kenzie? Cool. Look at the candles. There's floating candles yeah. up there. And there's an owl right there. Oh! Who is that? That's Dobby. Mm -hmm. Look at Dobby there. Look at this. How fun is that? That is so perfect for over here. So right next to this room is another surprise. Let's pull back the curtains, guys. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa. 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 
boss. It's the night boss. It's our TV partner. Oh, cute. This room has a red telephone booth. Just like your room. Not as big as it. Harry Potter! It's time to look upstairs. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Right above the stairs, we have a little Cinderella area. What is it? It's a glass slipper. Oh, nice. So right next to the Cinderella room, we have the Sleeping Beauty room. Guys, come see. This is so pretty. Can't they love the flowers up there? Look at that. There's a matching bathroom. Hi. Whoa! Look at yours. Did you find the treasure chest? Should I wear this one? Or should I wear this one? Which one do you like? What's his name? His name, um, I'm gonna name him April. April? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he looks like an April to me. Okay, so we've got to look at all of the rooms and they are so fun, but right now, it's a little bit raining and it's almost lunchtime. We didn't actually bring any food with us, so I'm gonna sit down really quick and make a menu plan. This house does come with all of the dishes that you might need, so that's awesome. You can definitely cook your own food here. Ooh, look at it. A cabinet full of teal baking dishes. I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and sit down with my computer, and I'm going to put a order in to Walmart and have it delivered. That way I can get lunch put together. I think that's our Walmart order. Okay guys, so for our first lunch in this house, I'm gonna put together a really fun but really simple Harry Potter themed lunch. Now this house does come with lots of different dishware and kid cups and things like that, but I wasn't sure, so I did end up bringing some from home. For the main course, I'm going to make some sorting hat dogs which is kind of like a pig in a blanket, but with a Harry Potter theme. So I'm gonna start by cutting all of these hot dogs in half. Then I'm gonna open up my crescent dough. I'm gonna wrap the hot dog up in a little bit of the crescent dough, but I'm going to leave the top. I want that pointed part to look like the sorting hat from Harry Potter. And you guys, while I'm making these, I'm gonna have the kids help me make some fruit wands. For this, we're just using some green grapes and some skewers. Next, I'm gonna take my knife, I'm gonna add some little lines to be the eyes and the mouth of the sorting hat. So here we have our sorting hat dogs. These actually smell really good, but I have to say some of the tips got a little bit more done than the bottom part, but that's okay. Now I was able to order some new food writer pens in my Walmart order, so to give these a little bit more of a face, I'm just going to draw it on like this. 
Then I'm gonna go ahead and put two on each plate and squirt a little bit of ketchup on there as well. Next, I'm gonna add those grape wands, followed by some really delicious spinach and artichoke dip. To go along with this, I'm gonna add lots of baby carrots, followed by some Hufflepuffs. Well, technically these are cheese-flavored veggie puffs. And then for the sweet treat, I'm gonna give each kid one golden snitch. Before I get started on dinner, we have one more space that we need to check out. Are you ready to go in? Yeah! Okay, let's go see. It's a laundry room! No, keep going, keep going. Whoa! Wow, look at this. It's a theater. Wow. Are you gonna sit here and watch a movie after dinner? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, you guys, look over here. These are all Star Wars costumes and helmets. Look at all of those. I almost like two years old. So since we're kind of having a movie night party and we're gonna be watching Star Wars, I wanted to make a fun Star Wars themed dinner. So I decided to make seven Leia dip, which is a play on seven layer dip. Now because this is a dinner, I am starting my first layer with some seasoned ground beef. I just put some taco seasoning in here. For layer number two, I'm adding some refried beans followed by a layer of sour cream. Next, I'm adding some guacamole. This is nice and mild, so all the kids should hopefully like it. For the next layer, I'm adding some shredded cheese. This is actually a fiesta blend. And then for the next layer, I'm just sprinkling on a little bit of chopped green onions. Not too many of my kids don't like too many green onions. And then for the final layer, I'm adding slices of black olive. So this is definitely a seven layer dip, but it's also kind of like like a taco in a bowl. Now to scoop up this delicious dip, I'm also giving the kids some of these bite-sized tortilla chips. And then on the side, I'm gonna be adding some lightsabers, which are really just some carrot sticks and some celery sticks. And then for a little sweet treat, I'm gonna be adding some Wookiee cookies, which are technically some no-bake chocolate oatmeal cookies. I usually make these at home, but I got these ones from Walmart because they're quick and easy. over but before we start our movie night I'm gonna have the kids change into their what uh their fuzzy their warm and fuzzy jammies you guys ready yeah come get your pants yeah. that one is Jackson's that one's Lily's that one's Griffin's go change go change for our movie night <laughs> who's ready for a movie should we have popcorn? Yeah. yeah. And show me your cute jammies. Are they nice and cozy? Yeah. <laughs> cozy, cozy, movie time. You ready for some breakfast? Yeah. Okay, do you wanna come help me? Yeah. Let's go. We need to go wake up the other kids. Yeah. Hey buddy, are you ready to get up? You ready for breakfast? Let's go. Are you ready for breakfast? Let's go make a princess breakfast. Jackson, wake up. wake up! Now what's really cool about this house is that it comes with lots of waffle makers. So there's actually a couple of different Star Wars ones and some princess ones and I think we 
should use this one. You wanna see it? Yeah. Ooh. It makes little princess waffles. Ooh. Okay guys, are you two ready to help make waffles? Yeah. yeah. Now because we're here, I, I opted to get this kind of pancake and waffle mix because all I have to do is add water and it'll be super easy. Don't need eggs or anything else. Okay, we're gonna need two of those. So go ahead and put the first one in. Good. Okay. Okay, now Lily, you can go ahead and add in the water. And then Griffin is gonna stir it all up. Don't spill it. Stir, stir. It's kind of lumpy. It's bubbly. I have some bubbly in me. So while I make a couple of batches of waffles, I'm also gonna be heating up these chicken and apple breakfast sausages. They're actually fully cooked, so they should be really fast. So to this plate, I'm gonna be adding two of these super cute waffles. These turned out so well. Next, I'm gonna be adding some blueberries and some fresh strawberries. And on this side, I'm adding a little squirt of whipped cream. That way the kids can build their waffles however they want. Next, I'm gonna be adding a yogurt smoothie. These, of course, have the princesses on the outside. Since this one is for Lily, I'll be giving her the Rapunzel. And then in this section, I'm also gonna to try to fit in this little pumpkin, which is actually an orange, and that's to represent the pumpkin carriage of Cinderella. In this last section, I'm going to put that apple and chicken breakfast sausage. And then if the kids want it, I do have some strawberry syrup. I'm just gonna put that on the side, though. So one breakfast plate down and a three to go. Okay guys, so I'm about to put together the last meal of our 24 hour challenge. And for this lunch, I'm going with a pirate theme. Hopefully I'll have some pirate boys come help me. And while I'm doing that, the kids are gonna be doing... Costume Runway. Now I'm gonna start by putting together some quesadillas. I got some tortillas in my order, and this is a leftover cheese from our Star Wars Leia dip. But I am gonna do something special to these quesadillas using my food writer pens. So here we have the first quesadilla. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this into quarters, and then I'm going to use my food writer pens to draw a little map and an X marks the spot. Are you guys ready to help with lunch? Yeah. yeah! You guys look awesome! Now for the fruit, we're gonna add some blueberry cannonballs. And then for the veggie, we're gonna be making some pirate swords using some cucumber and some carrots. And you guys, can you put some pirate booty on the lunch trays? Yeah! There you go. And then I have a secret treasure that we can add to this lunch. Wow. I've got some gold. Here you go. You can each have one. Just put one in your lunch. Okay. 
Good. Okay, now it's your turn to add the treasure. Ooh, look in there. It does look like gold. Okay, go ahead and add one. And then add it right in with the pirate booty. Thank you. Yep, right there. Okay, Jackson, here are the blueberry cannonballs. Blueberry. You're gonna add some over here and leave a little bit of space for the veggie, okay? I'll add the cannonballs that I want to add. The You're gonna add the swords. You gonna add the swords? Does it look like a sword? It's a carrot sword. Okay, so we have our treasure map quesadillas, our pirate sword veggies, our cannonball blueberries, some pirate booty, and underneath, some buried treasure. Now you guys, we had a, such an awesome time at Jabba's Hut, and we are super excited to partner with Happily Ever After Playhouses and offer you the chance to win one of two stays in 2022. The details to enter will be in the description box below. Good luck, you guys, and... Thanks for watching! See you next time! Bye! Hey, <laughs> now you do run away.